everybody thank you very much for tuning in it's been some few weeks still here graphic show is on tv your favorite entertainment show and we're wowing you my name is andy dusty i'm your host well this week our cover story comfort quarter says i am not lost and to burn great with sarcordia well the beautiful collaboration my beautiful costume is provided by ina collections located at swanley junction at north kanishi here in accra hold on tight when i return Stories coming up. A must have quality paper for credible local and international news. The best content with up to date information. Brilliantly designed, brilliantly delivered for the best in news, sports, and entertainment. Daily graphic, the mirror, graphic sports, graphic showbiz, graphic business, and junior graphic. Authentic and reliable. All the right information at a much lesser cost. Grab yours now. Graphic Communications Group since 1950. Is it wrong for a gospel musician to record or collaborate with a secular musician? I'm asking why? Because Hattie Bongrade seems to have stepped up her game by recording with hip light musician Trigmatic and recently with Sarkodie. Lady Pepper tried her hands on that some time ago by recording with Pryor, even with Assem and Richie. Did it work? Hetibongrit is here to prove something. Yo, yo, and yo. Some key members in the gospel music industry are throwing a fit at what seems to be the in thing in the gospel music world today. That is, collaborations with artists who are regarded as secular. Lady Prempe and Assem's Odonewehe, which became a fan favorite in a matter of weeks, received serious criticism from some parts of the Christian community. Hetty Bongwit has stirred unpleasant interest in her latest singles, which feature Sarkodia and Trigmatic, two bona fide hip life artists. Some gospel music purists have condemned the singer for wading in the pool of the other side of the music world. Trigmatic. Hetty Bongrick. Take me to the church right now. Let the praise oh, go. I chose Trigmatic because of the type of music that I wanted to do. I wanted my music to get everywhere. When Hetty Bongrick um, wanted to put me on a track, um, I don't know what actually she thought of before inviting Trey because there, there are lots of artists. So I needed someone to rub into my music and God being so good, my brother Trey was there to help. And she knows that, oh, I have like I have a link or like, you know, I, I haven't moved or swayed away from my Christian background and all of that. Listening to songs like My Life and uh, Light and Darkness and stuff. She has, however, defended her position, saying that her music ministry is not just targeted at Christians, but everyone else. And that is what evangelism is all about. Initially, people were a bit surprised why I was collaborating with the hip life artists. But you know, I was just trying to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he came, there were so many pastors and bishops there, but he went after the fishermen and the tax collectors. So I'm just trying to follow the steps of my Lord Jesus Christ. Why Trig and Hetty, two different people? I mean, they just couldn't see. So the media really, really took it. Um, they really got hard on me, but hey, I mean, it's part of my job. and. 
um, I knew it was gonna come anyway so whatever thing that you do um, you're still gonna get its good side and its bad side so I, I took it in good faith she also added that we are all the children of God and it doesn't matter whether you're considered a gospel or secular artist what I always say is that the sky is my starting point so right now I have so many collaborations in the pipeline and they'll be coming out very soon and the album too will come out the album title is called take them to the church so I want all my fans to watch out well let's see how far she will go with this campaign of hers and as to whether her stance is right or not it's up to Ghana to decide Now, Okonfo Kwade says, I am not lost. The hip life musician is back. He claims his life, his music is still as solid as it was. He caught up with him. This is what he had to say. Please welcome Okonfo Kwade Ghanaians have been asking countless questions about the whereabouts of one of the names which some time ago could never have been skipped when talking about hip life in GH. Known for hits like Yako Mape, Kaunantosu, Mimpana and a truckload more, Jerry Anaba, popularly known as Okonfo Kwade, told Graphic Showbiz News that the main reason he's been off the music scene for some time now, regardless of the rumors out there, is that he wanted to give other artists the opportunity to shine as well. Hmm, very thoughtful of him, don't you think? You know, I'm always in the house, you know, getting my note down and then listening to the public view. You know, like what's going on in town, and then you know, coping with it, and then coming out with new stuff, you know, to match the whole, you know, system, you know. However, word on the street is that the mental illness he suffered five years ago, which was induced by marijuana abuse, had returned and was therefore the reason for his absence. <laughs> When asked whether he wasn't afraid that his long absence might lead to his fans shifting their attention elsewhere, Pade asserted that his track record spoke for itself and that it should come as no surprise when he returns to reclaim his position at the top. You know, you have to check it out from my first to my last album, you know, and see if it's progressing or uh, what do you say, say retrogression or what. Yeah, you know, so that is, that is, that is to say if I'm messing or not, you know. And the album is very hot, tight up, you know. I have one name, the kind caught, you know, the kind caught me back. Then permanent train me, take the lead and I'll bring the ball, you know. You know, and I've got one with Paul Kessier. And uh, one with um, Sarko here, you know. And then we have two tough in the house and everybody. So don't worry, man. The album is all packed up. And I'm even trying to get that Sabra on the line, you know. So this year, you know, quite there. So that every argument will be closed professionally, you understand?
A must-have quality paper for credible local and international news. The best content with up-to-date information. Brilliantly designed, brilliantly delivered. For the best in news, sports and entertainment. Daily Graphic, The Mirror, Graphic Sports, Graphic Showbiz, Graphic Business and Junior Graphic. Authentic and reliable. All the right information at a much lesser cost. Grab yours now. Graphic Communications Group since 1950. Welcome back. Now there's a trend that seems to be catching on with the car owning populace. Back in the days it used to be inbuilt entertainment in luxurious cars. Now it seems to be migrating into public vehicles like trotros. One can easily sit in a trotro and be enjoying a, a music video or watching a movie or show this on TV. <laughs> What's happening? Jovis went out to find out what that's all about. Over the years, the world has evolved and people have found various ways to upgrade their standard of living. Phones have gotten high tech, computers are more portable and efficient, and cars. Well, cars can all but fly and have also gotten much cleverer than they used to be. From GPS trackers, digital navigation systems, motion sensors, etc. In car flat screen TVs, which were formerly typical of very expensive cars such as the Range Rovers, the Escalades, Lincoln Navigators, have now found comfortable homes in regular private and commercial vehicles. It's about you spending most of your time in a car, you need something that will keep you going in the car, something that will make you happy in the car, your children. Today, at least one out of three commercial vehicles shows off TV sets ranging from 10 inches to as big as 50 inches. Sometimes you're bored and you just want a bit of entertainment and probably you left your stuff at home, iPad, iPhone, whatever. So for that brief moment it does. So, why the need for TVs and cars? Is it just for what we call flex, or does it serve a higher purpose for consumers? It's, it's not meant for the driver, it's meant for the family, the passengers, and then the kids at the back. In the evening now, when they play the music, they play, uh, what do you call it, they, they play the video. It's not bad, it even motivates to enjoy the traveling. A boy, actually say, on the negative side, if it's so loud, then it tends to disturb the driver, so he doesn't, you know, get the concentration that he needs to be on the road. Well, if you can't afford a car with an originally inbuilt TV screen, strap up, relax, and enjoy. But remember, pay attention to the road. Do not watch and drive. Over the years, Ghanaian celebrities have tried their hands on other businesses apart from what they are well noted for. Black Star striker Samojan tried his hands on music. EL went into acting. Well, me too. Now, the recent person to have joined this, this trade is Ace Radio presenter Kofi Ochidako, also known as KOD. Well, he claims he's now a tailor. Showbiz went ahead to check out his 1957 collections. Check this out. Whether it's sheer boredom or just a strong desire to venture into an alien field besides what they are well known for, the trend of celebrities diverting to or trying their hands on new things looks like it's here to stay. When it comes to showing versatility in the arts, Ace Radio presenter Kofi Autry Darko, otherwise known as KOD, definitely has carved a niche for himself in the industry. The Ace broadcaster has recently added another title to the endless list of his talents by launching his clothing line, 1957. Yeah, with 1957 um, representing liberation to 
all black people. I thought, why not? Why don't I choose that name uh, as uh, my, my label name? So, hence um, 1957 by KOD. I'm clothing people like um, um, Emmanuel Adebayo, Stephen Apia, Michael Asian, our President West 1957, our former President Rollins West 1957. So, it tells you that we're not just um, looking at Ghana as a country, we're going to sell on the continent of Africa and beyond. That's what it is. That's what the future is. And ultimately, um, I mean, you can see behind me all these people who are working. This is generating employment for, for um, um, Ghanaians as well. So that's 1957 for you. A couple of months ago, a fashion show dubbed Rhythm on the Runway was organized to highlight the fashion line. KOD has indeed established himself as a force to reckon with in the fashion world. And from where I stand, it's all uphill from here. If life begins at 40, then legendary highlight musician Ben Bracco seems to have enjoyed 20 years more. He's 60 years and he's celebrating Ben Bracco at 60. We threw more light on his life, his music and more. At 60, living high life legend Ben Bracco still gets audiences mesmerized by songs he released over two decades ago. Although Ben Bracco has released other albums such as Everybody, Siwudu and Adende, he is still best known for his songs on the Bayer album which was produced by the late John Kay. Ben Bracon is an official of a shipping company, a production staff at Qual Answers Film Africa, and CEO of his own company. With an upcoming album featuring Assam and Ochami Kwame, Ben Bracon is well ahead with plans for a big 60th birthday bash at the Banquet Hall, which may feature top artists like Amachi Dede, Bessa Simmons, A.B. Krenzo, Ochami Kwame, Nanam Pedu, CK Man, Pat Thomas, Opua, Sarkodie, and Samini. By the grace of God, I'm still alive, well, and kicking, and doing what I love to do. To mark my 60th birthday, I'm doing what, what is being dubbed as Ben Bracco's 60th birthday celebration. We have all these, all the top artists in Ghana coming to support me to put up a great show, a fantastic show. We, want, we actually want to set up a benchmark of a show to, to, to show the world and Ghana particularly the levels that we can rise to when the need arises. I think that at this stage in my life, I'm very, uh, I feel very creative and vibrant. And I think that hitherto I have not uh, done enough songs, enough tracks. I have so much in me. So this is a period where I feel very productive. I'm going to be doing a lot of tracks with lots of people. Okay. I'm going to do lots of collaborations and um, uh, I, I hope that my fans will enjoy a golden period with me. At 60 and not looking a day older, Mr. Bracco says what he would love more than anything else in the world is to see high life become one of the key genres in the world of pop. Happy belated birthday, Ben Bracco. A must-have quality paper for credible local and international news. The best content with up-to-date information. Brilliantly designed, brilliantly delivered. For the best in news, sports and entertainment. Daily Graphic, The Mirror, Graphic Sports, Graphic Showbiz, Graphic Business and Junior Graphic. Authentic and reliable. All the right information at a much lesser cost. Grab yours now. Graphic Communications Group since 1950. All right, your favorite videos are not left out this week. More coming right up. Check this out. You'll certainly love them. Couple nigga, what? 
Charlie shit, yo. I don't know what facts that my wood say me are. You know what song? What a kaboom, 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 and so I will be back home. Say yes, I see some move move for Casa Cromo, your man. No, to me, the man, no, be pesky, can't wait to be before you. Hip hop, my style, lay a dick to one to my shell. Watching your weekend was so we speed the best in pop artists in GH. So my money, my no dogs say me, but you know, say me, so you know me, say you go compare me to other MCs. Yo, tell me for me, ah, never. Yeah, man, in your car, now in your Zika car, and Mark a car, now my phone, you know, Mark a car. Joe, make up a good baby, baby. Man, I be speeding on the highway to this vision that I got of me. I'm sitting chilling while the competition is behind. And though they try to get ahead, it seems that I am the only one on top. Cause I'm sort of pretty fly. Aha, uh -huh. I mean, I do it like an effing pro. Y'all do mediocre and your high is like my effing low. Hey, stay on the pedestal above you lanes. They should put me on the bench cause I'm messing up the game. Hey, cause I fresh you went right, but since I done came, my way is the only right way. And they might say for a girl, yeah, you got game. I'm probably better than some of your favorite rapkins. What? JD can you say don't come most of the time too? Dear Tosun come on me fans, more much than me crying. Can't me say the coin, send me so me put me kind. And then me train with time, you be the move filling me punchlines. Mama say me wanna put one time, more how I wanna say. Miss a beer, Miss Rome can't more gonna mind my chain. Nineteen sixty four, not me wanna put that was saying that what you know for no now what they won't have my betty. Tell it mommy flow, sign mommy one minute. Make a cruise the door when we get to a say I see me. Mama has some bed yeah, grow up, many yeah, basic could I see me. Me yeah, by yeah, I've been what you if it's a tip, me darling. Sit back, relax, take a minute to listen to me rip bars, me a sick ass individual. Keep this game locked like some suitcases. Yeah, I just run this game like a Blu-ray disc. The Q team flow tight, but you and your crews flow loose like Sabago shoelaces. Yeah, child and make them make them real clear. C-U-E, be the team they fear. We all kill my yeah, the goons day here. Yeah. One more drop in lines by the Q day here. Yeah. Same chapter with my crew, but this is verse two. And the kids so sick, they be like, get well soon. Me pa rap, send it once now, see if I pay home. When him dad has a rap, on a way she man on. Me ne rap, nan ti boom ti me che me home. Rap with your hot tea and call me yane pan on. Me sha rap a sin che, but me when he pass in the kid ya. Go be a kasa hari a she me kawa wo me sit ya. Now some way along, me me chan uti et ya. Me ya sing in sa rap e, se pra e ti et ya. Rap your cash, e she me ho se kwa bra kese. Rap your madness, my butt damn se kwa o kese. Me no ma dan fone form, ti mi sra shi a se. Framing was no bano mo je do kra, me ye kese. In a society where most women, unlike men, are not given any tutorials at all as to how to go about their feelings, it's not surprised that most women find it very difficult expressing their feelings when they do realize they have them. Now we went around town asking women this question. How would you let him know you've fallen for him? Would you cry? Write it in a song? Say it through a poem? What would you do? Let us know. But this is what other Ghanaians had to say. Well, I would prefer telling the guy how I feel about him than action. I will go to him and tell him how I feel about him. Mm, I just can't express it. I wouldn't tell him I'm in love with him, but then I'll just get closer to him and then do some things to get him interested. I will call him mostly to check up on him, to see if I can go and cook for him, maybe wash, go out somewhere with him. Mm, that way you know I'm falling for him. Let him know Ben that I'm interested in him. I'll get his number from his friends and I'll be sending him messages that I'm interested in him. Well, what I would do is I would collect his number and be calling him regularly. And from that time, like, love will start to generate. Through my actions, if you are not friends, I'll try to be friends with the person, then this will happen next. Okay, I think I wouldn't go by gestures or by actions. Um, I'll start with maybe exchanging sweet messages with him, calling him at midnight, calling him early mornings to check how he's doing. Invite him out on lunch, maybe visiting him at all times, just to let him know like I'm falling. If, if, if even if he's not so so fast to know I'm falling, he would understand that there's something going. There's a chemistry going on that I want to share with him. Mm -hmm. I'll be giving him more attention. 
I think the best thing I will do is I'll get in touch with him, calling him, making him feel that he is loved by someone. <clears throat> Most of the time, ladies act by action. So, the first thing I'll do is get close to him, and then with some little things, I'm sure he's gonna know that I love him. It will depend on the friendship. If, uh, like, the friend, we become very close friends, and I can come, uh, tell him anything, I'll try to tell him how I feel about him. Sometimes, buy me a present, call him more of him. Try and catch his attention. It's not every girl who have time and attention for him that way. So maybe he's waiting for me to tell him I love him. But I'm not the type of person who can tell a boy I love him. If he doesn't see, it, then that's it's my classmate. I would definitely be going close to him, encouraging, caring for a lunch, staying together, and like. He will, he will know, he will know that I'm in love with him. You know, I should speak louder than what, as you people know. I, just, I mean, I'll just use my, the powers of a woman, that is all, so I can get you interested. That is well. Okay, thanks very much for watching. It's time for me to bounce. It's been several weeks since we've been on TV, right? And people seem to be loving it. All right. Big ups to the team at Graphic Communications Group, especially the big men, Mr. Ken Ashibe, Nana Benyi, uh, Mr. Franco Dro. Salute to all of you. And to you out there, thank you very much for watching. And we love you for your anticipation. Well, my name is Andy Dusty. Don't forget to grab a copy of the Graphic Showbiz every Thursday at various newsstands and vendors. My beautiful attire is provided by INA Collections. Shout out to you, Adams. Thank you very much for giving me uh, the shirt. Next week, we shall meet again. Let us know your comments by posting it on our Facebook page, Graphic Showbiz on TV. My name is Andy Dusty. Bye bye for now. I'm <laughs> <laughs>